Part 4, Addition of Algebraic Expressions. You will find this on page 101 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Addition of Algebraic Expressions. When removing brackets, if the sign in front of the bracket is positive, then the signs in the bracket, the positive and negative signs inside the bracket, are unchanged. So if I'm asking you, let's look at this example. Simplify 3x plus 2y plus 4x minus 5y. Can you see it's addition? So that signs will stay the same. So I can basically just rewrite everything and just remove the brackets. Because there's just a 1 in front of the brackets. And now I can collect the like terms. So first mark the like terms. It's 3x and plus 4x. Positive 2y, negative 5y. So 3 plus 4, that will be 7x. And if the signs are different, what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract and I take the sign in front of the biggest movement. So it's negative 3y. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 4. Okay, let's do it. Try now if I say negative A, put first the brackets, plus 7B plus 7A minus 2B. Okay, let's first remove the brackets. There's just a 1 in front and there's a 1 in front and there's a positive. So basically I can just rewrite everything. And if the sign was positive, it stays positive. Negative, it stays negative. Now, I can first mark my like terms. There's a negative A and there's a positive 7A. There is a 7B and there's a negative 2B. So let's just add the like terms. So negative 1, remember there's a 1. So negative 1 plus 7. So what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract, so that will be 6. And I take the sign in front of the biggest movement, which was positive. And I just rewrite the A. And then 7B minus 2B, that will just be equal to 5B. And that's my final answer. Okay, let's go through the next example. Find the sum of this and this. Now, sum just means addition. So I can rewrite it like this. And then due to the fact that it's just addition, I can just remove the brackets. Because there's a 1 in front and a 1. And I just rewrite everything with its original sign. And then I mark my like terms. 3C, 4C, 7D. Um, let's look if there's a negative 12D. Constant negative 2, constant negative 8. So what is 3 plus 4? That is 7C. What is 7D minus 12D? What do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. So I get 5, and the biggest movement was negative, so I skip the negative. And that's negative 5D. Look at the constants. What do I do if the signs are the same? I add the numbers, and I keep the sign. And my answer will have three terms. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 5. And then continue with the video as soon as you're finished. Okay, let's do try now, 5. Okay, find the sum of, so it's basically just saying negative 8m plus 12p minus 15. Sum means add, and it's 5m minus 12p plus 7. And I rewrite everything, and that will be, because it's addition, and there's just a 1, so it stays the same, everything. 12p minus 15, plus, there's just a 1, so in this addition, so all the signs stays the same, unchanged. But now, let's mark our like terms. There's a ne uh, m, a negative 8m, and there's a positive 5m. There's a 12p and a minus 12p, additive inverse, so they can cancel. A negative 15 and plus 7. So let's quickly look. 
the result. Negative 8 plus 5. What do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. So the difference between 8 and 5 will be 3. The biggest movement was negative. So that's why I keep it a negative. Okay. And then, oh, if, if it's exactly the same with different signs, we say it cancel out. Okay, and then the next one, negative 15 plus 7, again different signs, so I subtract. What is the biggest movement? Negative, so I keep the negative. My answer will have two terms.